Morgan. Yes, it was me that called you. This is a child's mother. She's gone. Someone's taken her, I'm sure of it. Well, let's start at the beginning, shall we? Who is it that's missing? My daughter, Samantha. Samantha Lewis. I was a bit late and she's gone. How old is she? Seven. She knows not to go. What was she wearing? School uniform? Yeah. And she had a red and black bag, one of those record ones. Have you checked at home? I walked all the way back. She's not there. She's not anywhere. Something terrible's happened to her. I know it. So they're asking 595 receiving, over. Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Read the missing child at Wapping Lane Primary. She's a Samantha Lewis, age seven, long dark hair, small for her age, last seen wearing a grey school uniform and carrying a red and black bag. Right, received. Did anyone see her go? Well, it's now their name, Sarge. They're all a bit at home by now. See if you can get the names and addresses of her friends and classmates. We may have to make some house calls. Yeah, we'll do, Sarge. There's a couple more classrooms at the end, Constable. Then I'll show you the hall and storerooms. But she's not here, we've checked. That missing child, Matt, Wapping Lane School, where does she live? Granby House on the White Gate, sir. Quite a walk if she decided to take herself home. No one saw her being picked up. Well, everyone had left by the time we were called. Tony's getting a list of friends and classmates, but it's going to take a while to track them down. Well, the quicker she's found, the sooner we can all relax. What you got, Tony? Well, she's definitely not inside the school. She's not outside either, by the look of things. About friends? Yeah, I've got a list here. I oh, will take that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Look, Debbie and I go to the girls' home. We'll start from that end. Okay, see you later. She'll probably be waiting at the door, you'll see. I told you, she's not here. Well, let's see if she's inside, shall we? She hasn't got a key. Well, let's go in anyway, just to check. Did you collect Kirsty this afternoon? Yeah, of course. Did you see Samantha? I can't say that I remember. Did you see anyone go off with her? Anyone you didn't know? No, but I mean, I was only really looking for Kirsty, making sure she had all her things, you know. I'm sorry, Maria must be frantic. Do you know her well? Not really. Right, any idea where else she may have gone? No, I mean, Sam's a nice kid, but she's not welcome many places. Well, how do you mean? Once Sam came round for a tea and it was gone midnight before Maria came and collected her. There's not many people want to put up with that. And you can't think of anywhere else she might have gone? A relative, friend? There's nowhere. I'll go and have a chicken round outside. Is there anyone you'd like to be here? Like who? Is Samantha's dad about? No. He left years ago. Anyone else? I live with someone. What's his name? Billy. Billy Elise. He should be back soon. Right. Can you show me which is Samantha's room? It's in there. Why do you need to know? I just want to take a look, make sure nothing's been taken. You think she's run away or something? It's best to check, though. Where's all the clothes and things? In there. I think it's all there. Are you sure? Yeah. Look, Marie, this is very important. It's all there, I'm sure of it. Do you know Samantha Lewis? What? Well, her mum can't find her. She's worried about her. That's hot. She won't worry. What makes you say that? It's too early for Sam to go home. What do you mean? She's not allowed in, because of Billy. Is that Sam's dad? No, it's just her mum's old man. Oh, right. Have you seen Samantha today? No. Have you any idea where she might have gone? If you see her, we just have to come home. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Maria, why don't you sit down? I'll make you a cup of tea or something. No, I... I, I don't want anything. I'll get that, shall I? Nothing yet. Uh, well, good moment. Not exactly the perfect home, Tony. She's got no toys, nothing. It'd be worth seeing if the family's known the child protection to. There is a boyfriend. Yeah, Billy something. Uh, Elise. Billy Elise? You know him? Yeah, he's a local pimp. Nasty with it. I didn't know Maria was his Tom, though. I'll run a check on her, too. Right. Sarah Oscar 595. 
Yeah, go ahead, Tony. Read the Mispa. Maria Lewis lives with one Billy Elise, early 30s. I believe he's got previous for GBH and pimping. I'll check in DIU, get a list of any previous convictions for both of them. Might be worth checking with the CPT, see if the kid's known to them as well, sir. Here we go, sir. Right, Tony, Maria Lewis, a couple of fines for soliciting and a caution for possession. One big happy family. William Joseph Elise, previous for assault, resisting arrest and living off immoral earnings. As you say, June. Thanks, Sarge. Can you check with the child protection team? Certainly, sir. And I'll get a full rundown on them both from the DIU. Can you find out where Billy is, Tony? I shall want to have a word with him once I've got the search organised. I'll find out for you, sir. In view of the fact that the child hasn't turned up in any of the usual places, Matt, I want every available officer to meet me at the school for a briefing in 15 minutes. Right, sir. There's no point in waiting for Billy. He could be ours. I thought you said he'd be back soon. Sooner, later. He'll be back when he's ready. I'll let you know when he gets here. It's better if we wait. I'd rather you out looking for Samantha. There's plenty of people out looking for her. George, have you and Polly finished checking Samantha's friends? Yes, sir. All we got was a confirmation that she normally walks home alone, and that's from her and Mrs Bailey. Gary, you and Steve will do the house-to-house -house along the route she probably walked home, including any shops, arcades or parks close by. And everyone else will start at the school and sweep outwards in increasing circles. This is the best I can do. It's last year's class photo. Thanks. Sorry, it's not terribly clear. I'm sure it'll be fine. Right then, let's get started. Yeah, well, Inspector Mum will be here any minute. She insists she doesn't know where Billy is. Makes a habit of losing her nearest and dearest, does she? What's going on? What are you doing here? It's Samantha. She's gone missing. What are you talking about? She hasn't come home. She'd have gone around her friends. There ain't no call for the police. I was worried. There's nothing to worry about. I'm sorry. I panicked. You can go now. We'll let you know when she turns up. I'm afraid it's not that simple, Mr. Elise. Why not? Because once we are involved, it's our duty to be certain that Samantha is safe before we go. I don't want no police in my home. Aren't you worried about what might have happened to Samantha, Mr. Elise? She'll be playing out. There's nothing to worry about. I'm going out. Inspector Munro will be here very soon. He'll especially want to talk to you, Billy. You'll be disappointed then. Don't be stupid. We'll be having the chat down the station. Billy. I'm going to the toilet. Is that all right with you? Man can't even take a leak. No. All right, thanks for your help. Excuse me. We're looking for a young girl that's gone missing. Have you seen her? Yeah, about quarter to four today. Maybe a bit earlier. You sure? Yeah. I know her because she's banned from here. She used to come in every day, buy a few penny sweets, then help herself to something bigger when I wasn't looking. Told her I'd call the police if she'd come in here again. You definitely saw her today. That's right. I just finished the school rush and I went outside to see how much litter they'd left. And what, she was walking past? Yeah, well, no, um, she was, but then she got in a car. What kind of car? Did you see the make? Uh, white escort. And did she seem to know the person in the car? Well, she must have done. She went straight over and got in the back. Did you get a look at the driver? Nah. What about the registration number? Uh, X-Reg, um, nah, I can't remember anymore. Right, well, thanks for your help. If you do think of anything else, let us know. A plumber might have seen more. Plumber? Sunhill Plumbing. Well, the escort nearly ran one of their vans off the road. I mean, it really raced away after it picked the girl up. Thanks. We'll be in touch. A white escort, ex reg. Do you know anyone with a car like that? Don't look at me, I ain't used a car all day. But you own a white escort? Yeah. It's in the garage. I'll show you. You'll see. 
The engine will be stone cold. It's been stolen. It was right here. When? Lunchtime. I had to go to the garage to get something. It was there then. All units from Sierra Oscar 1. Attention requested to a white escort. Registration number? GGF969X. Registration Golf Golf Foxtrot 969 X Ray. Reported stolen Granby House garage block, last seen lunchtime. Where do you think you're going, Mr. Elise? I've got a few more questions I'd like to ask you. Now what? Like, where were you this afternoon? That's none of your business. I've done nothing wrong. I am investigating the disappearance of a young girl, Mr. Elise. Yeah, well, that's nothing to do with me. I'm arresting you on suspicion of abduction. Elise Bob, arrested in connection with the disappearance of Samantha Lewis. I'm the victim here. He can't arrest me just because my car's been stolen. You tell him. I'm sure Inspector Monroe has a good reason for arresting you, Mr. Elise. Isn't that so, sir? Uh, Mr. Elise was being uncooperative and refusing to answer questions. Hold on. I never refuse to answer no questions. And this should be cleared up in no time. Sierra Oscar from 358 receiving. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, sirs, we're having a few problems locating the driver of the van. Seems like he's gone AWOL. Keep trying, Gary. Yep, yeah, receive, Sarge. You'd think they'd have some way of contacting him for emergency call-outs, wouldn't you? Well, well, obviously you've never tried getting a plumber in an emergency, have you, Steve? Sierra Oscar 85 from Sierra Oscar receiving, over. Go ahead, Sarge. Yeah, read the earlier abduction. Can you check a possible sighting of the vehicle? We've been informed it's causing obstruction to the emergency vehicle access on the Canley Enterprise Park. On way. No sign of the child, eh? Jules, look at this. Yeah, open. Sierra Oscar from 469 receiving. Go ahead. Yeah, we found Billy Elise's car at the Enterprise Park and it's got Samantha's school bag inside. Received, Polly. No sign of Samantha? No. He could have dumped the car and walked back. He's in the wrong direction. What? He's further from his home than the school is. In fact, it's in the opposite direction. Maybe he never intended to take her back home. Why? I don't know. Who knows why these sickos hurt kids? Yeah, but we don't know he actually has yet, Steve. Something's happened to her, that's for sure. I'll tell you, this time he's gone too far. Oh, well, it's not going too far beating up your old lady and forcing her to work on the streets. Well, at least she's got the choice to leave if she wants. I'm sure she's got her reasons. No one can force anyone to stay with them, Gary. All she has to do is walk out. Simple. Do you need something to calm me down? What, like a cup of tea? I meant I could call a doctor if you wanted. You know. That you're a user? Is Billy your... I mean, does he use? No. And if you're asking, is he my dealer? It's none of your business. It isn't easy, you know. The life I lead, you need a little something to help you through. So why lead it? Not my choice. Couldn't you leave? He'd kill me. Anyway, he never lets me out of his sight. He must do occasionally. Watches me like a hawk. When I'm with a punter at the hotel, he's there outside, waiting. But he let you go to collect Samantha this afternoon? No. He just happened to go out. I only went because I was worried about her. Why? He's been going on and on. About what? about her being in the way. I can't bring punters back here, you see. Hotel costs. And she annoys him. He's been saying she's got to go. 
but I thought he meant he wanted it taken into care. I didn't think he'd hurt her or anything. Where did he say he was going to this afternoon? Don't know. But you thought he was going out to buy drugs, didn't you? We had a row about Samantha. I was strung out. I needed extra. He said he'd deal with it. I didn't think he meant he'd deal with her. Sierra Oscar from 561 receiving. Go ahead, Debbie. Sir, Mrs. Lewis says that she and Billy were arguing about Samantha earlier this afternoon. Then he left. Did he say where he was going? No, just to deal with a problem, Mrs. Lewis said. She thought he meant get her some more drugs, but was sufficiently worried about Samantha to go to the school. Stay with her, Debbie. I think it's about time Mr. Elise answered a few questions. His solicitor's here, sir. Good. You've got no cause to arrest me. There must be hundreds of white escorts. The witness said that Samantha must have known the driver. She got into the car quite happily. She don't do what I want, not without a fight. She'd never get in the car, not with me. Did you lend your car to anyone? <laughs> it's stolen. Bit of a coincidence, though, isn't it? Your girlfriend's daughter's picked up by a white escort the very day yours is stolen. Now, where is she, Mr. Elise? What have you done with her? Nothing. We have the car, Mr. Elise. Your car. Don't mean it was used to take her. You don't even know where she has been taken. She's maybe out with her friends. Samantha's school bag was inside. It weren't me. I never touched her. I don't like the kid, but that's all. I never hurt her. What'd you take me for? What do you mean when you told Mrs. Lewis that you were going to deal with the problem? Did you mean Samantha? No! I meant... Look, I admit, I wanted a kid out of the way, but that's all. I don't know, putting care or something. It's not even like she was a good mother. She'd have been better off with someone else. So you decided to deal with her? No! Look, I can prove where I was this afternoon. If something's happened to Samantha, it weren't me. I was out buying drugs. What a mate. I think we need to no. take a break. I know what I'm doing. I'll need more, Billy. Names, places, and I need to know where the drugs are now. I can't give you names. You're going to have to, if you want me to believe you. <laughs> this isn't a good alibi, Billy, because no one's likely to back it up. But I was nowhere near Samantha this afternoon. So tell me where you were and who you were with. You ain't listening, are you? I want CID here. They won't treat you any different. <laughs> they will, when they hear what I've got to say. Uh, yeah, Sarge, we tracked down the plumber to his home. Eventually. He's certain that the driver of the escort was a woman. Description fits that of Maria Lewis. Mrs. Lewis. Maria. It's getting late. What if she's out there, on her own? We'll find her. No. I'm gonna look. I'm not gonna wait here doing nothing. No, wait. It really is best if someone stays here. Then you stay. Maria! Would you think Maria would hurt her own child? Why else would she take her? Billy might have put her up to it, I suppose. Quite likely. I just can't believe I was so wrong about the woman. Sir? Just had a call from a Mrs Bailey. George spoke to her earlier. Her daughter's in the same class as Samantha. Do you remember something? Better than that. She's at the supermarket creche. Samantha's there, safe and sound. Get someone there, Matt, and quickly. Mrs Lewis could well be on her way there already. Right, sir. Going down. Yeah, but which level? Must be the car park. Come on. You take this side. I just want to go. Oh, 
sorry, love. You're going to have to come with me. But I have to go. I have to. Come on. I... Why can't you just leave me alone? No, we can't do that. You must know that, Lydia. Come on. I have to get away from him. Why? For Samantha's sake. I knew it was only a matter of time before he harmed her. But why not just leave? Take her with you. You don't know what he's like. I never got the chance. He knew I'd go, so he followed me everywhere. Well, there must have been something you could do. Someone you could ask for help. I tried. Believe me, I tried. But I couldn't get away. Not without leaving Samantha. And I'd never do that. I knew I'd only get enough time if Billy was under arrest. So you hid Samantha, then reported her missing? I thought that as soon as you'd arrested him, or at least brought him in for questioning, I'd be free to pick her up and go. I'd have been in Ireland by now if you hadn't stuck with me the whole time. Well, Mrs Lewis, I have to say you've wasted a lot of police time. I know. I can only say I'm sorry. I was desperate. Well, I suppose we'd better let you take Samantha home then. You're not going to charge me. <laughs> what with? Wasting police time? I'd waste even more time filling in the forms. What about Billy? He's helping CID with their inquiries. I see no reason to inform him of these developments yet. So me and Sam can go then? Yes. Show Mrs. Lewis out, will you please, Danny? I know you why you needed drugs as well. I've given you my dealer. It's just to prove you're not yanking us about. And after this, you'll tell that inspector that I didn't take the kid. I certainly will. And he'll listen to what you're saying. Oh, yeah. He always listens to me. I'm CID. Where is it? In the system. Oh, that's original. Yeah, well, I didn't have a lot of time to think with the pigs crawling all over the place. Oh, that really must have cramped your style. Sarge? Yeah? Looks like someone got here before us. Who could have done that? Maria. She set me up. The cow, I'll kill her! She's taken everything. Gear, money, the lot. Was there much to take? He's gonna do me for the kid now, isn't he? I doubt it. Sam's already been found. She and Maria are back at Sunhill. I better make sure they're not let go. <coughs> yes, Sarge, it's Jim Carver. Could I get a message to Inspector Munro? Oh, June. Sir? Uh, Maria Lewis, has she gone yet? Yes, Debbie saw her off. When was that? 10, 15 minutes ago. Why? I needed to have a word with her about something. She'd be long gone by now. Was it important? No, not really. I don't see any reason why we should trouble her further. 